Space-themed music is any music, from any genre or style, with lyrics or titles relating to outer space or space travel. Songs or other musical forms influenced by the concept of outer space have appeared in music throughout history, both in instrumental and vocal pieces with lyrics. As early as ancient Greece, Pythagoras believed in something called the harmony of the spheres. He believed that since planets and the stars all moved in the universe according to mathematical equations that these mathematical equations could be translated into musical notes and thus produce a symphony. This idea was explored further throughout Western history under the theories of musica universalis. Some more recent and widely different examples are the planets by Gustav Holst, and the song, Space Oddity, by David Bowie. Outer space also appears as a theme in Space Age retro pop music, such as Stereolab Space Age Bachelor Pad music. Music about outer space attracts enthusiastic listeners from all walks of life. Some have created web pages to share their interests. NASA, JPL, and the U.S. Governmental Centennial of Flight Commission even have a webpages showcasing and discussing music about outer space. Topic. Music about outer space In 1958, Carl Berger Blomdahl composed an opera Aniara to a libretto by Eric Lindegren based on the poem Aniara by Harry Martinson, a tragedy set aboard a space ship. In 1958, Russ Garcia recorded an Exotica album called Fantastica on Capitol Records that was about space travel. In 1969, the Beatles released Single Across the Universe. In 1972, Elton John released Single Rocket Man. The same year, Tangerine Dream released their double album Zeit, featuring space-related track titles such as Birth of Liquid Pledgeades and Nebulous Dawn, as well as cover art depicting a solar eclipse. It is considered one of the first, possibly the first, dark ambient albums. In 2016, Avenged Sevenfold released their album, The Stage, a concept album about space, the universe, the human race, and artificial intelligence. The song, Exist, contains a spoken word section written and performed by astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. Eduard Artemyev has made space-themed music, for example for a space film Solaris 1972, although his best-known and successfully covered space-themed sounding piece might be the theme song for non-space film Siberiade 1979. The Japanese musician Isao Tomita has produced many albums with space-based themes, such as The Planets 1976, his version of Holst Suite, Cosmos 1978, Bermuda Triangle 1979, Don Chorus Canon of the Three Stars 1984, Space Walk, Impressions of an Astronaut Compilation 1984, Mind of the Universe, Live at Linz 1985, Back to the Earth, Live in New York 1988 and Nazca Fantasy supporting Kodo, 1994. The Vangelis album Albedo 0.39 is entirely devoted to space, while a segment of Heaven and Hell 1975 was used as the theme to the PBS television series Cosmos by Carl Sagan. His work Mythidia, music for NASA's Mars Odyssey mission is reflective of his interest in space exploration. Mike Oldfield's 1994 album The Songs of Distant Earth was based on Arthur C. Clarke's SF novel Songs of Distant Earth. Pop songs also mention outer space, such as Chris de Berg's A Spaceman Came Traveling, the Bonzo Dog Band's I'm the Urban Spaceman, David Bowie's Space Oddity, Elton John's Rocket Man, Major Tom by Peter Schilling, and Deep Purple's Space Truckin'. To Our Children's Children's Children by the Moody Blues was a 1969 album inspired by spaceflight. Several albums have featured music inspired by the Apollo space program. 
In 1983, Brian Eno with his brother Roger Eno and producer, recording artist Daniel Lanois, composed the score for the film For All Mankind, a documentary of NASA's Apollo program, an album of the music, Apollo, Atmospheres and Soundtracks, was later released. On the Orb's 1991 two-disc debut album, Adventures Beyond the Ultraworld, disc one of features an ambient musical simulation of the Apollo 11 moon journey, including excerpts of NASA recordings of the radio conversations between Mission Control and the astronauts in space. The Filk Anthology albums Minus Ten and Counting 1983 and To Touch the Stars 2003 celebrate and promote the exploration of outer space. Author and classical music critic David Hurwitz describes Joseph Haydn's choral and chamber orchestra piece, The Creation, composed in 1798, as space music, both in the sense of the sound of the music, a genuine piece of space music featuring softly pulsating high violins and winds above low cellos and basses, with nothing at all in the middle. The space music gradually drifts towards a return to the movement's opening gesture and in the manner of its composition, relating that Haydn conceived the creation after discussing music and astronomy with William Herschel, oboist and astronomer, discoverer of the planet Uranus, another band to use space as musical inspiration is the Christian. Astro-rock group Brave Saint Saturn, whose three albums, So Far From Home, The Light of Things Hoped For, and Anti-Meridian, form a trilogy that chronicles the journey of the fictional spaceship, the USS Gloria, on a trip to survey the moons of Saturn. The music uses space narratives, lingo, samples and quotes to portray the journey. Topic. Soundtracks for movies and TV shows about outer space Soundtracks of science fiction movies and television and radio series often feature music associated with outer space, such as Star Wars, Star Trek, Doctor Who, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Red Dwarf, The X-Files, and others. The theremin is an electronic musical instrument associated with a very eerie sound, which has led to its use in movie soundtracks such as those in The Day the Earth Stood Still. Topic. Music played in planetariums and observatories Many forms of music are used observatory and planetarium shows, particularly genres such as electronic music, classical music, space music, and space rock. Some artists, such as Geodesium, specialize in creating custom music for planetariums. During the 1970s, IMAX's Omnimax now IMAX Dome film system was conceived to operate on planetarium screens. More recently, some planetariums have rebranded themselves as dome theaters, with broader offerings including widescreen or wraparound films, full dome video, and laser shows that combine music with laser-drawn patterns. Topic music made with sounds of outer space energy sources in the atmosphere, such as lightning, can produce sounds spherics, tweaks, and whistlers in the very low frequency VLF radio band. Objects in space, the sun, planets, stars, quasars, pulsars, galaxies, and active galaxies, all produce signals that, if received usually through radio astronomy dishes and processed, can be used by a musician as the basis for any kind of composition imaginable. Scientists with an interest in space-based sounds include, Don Gurnett. Stephen P. McGreevy at the Library of Congress Web Archives, archived 13 September 2002. Alexander Kosovichev, a Stanford scientist whose researches into the sun's oscillations and who uploaded the sounds to the net encouraged Stephen Taylor see below, to create his album. Dr. Fiorella Terenzi has created several works that use sounds derived from Celestial Radio Signals homepage, space.com entry. 
NASA produced a CD in 1992 from Voyager 1 and 2 recordings of electromagnetic fields processed with digital sampling techniques. Artists, bands who have included space sounds in their works include Hawkwind Terry Riley, along with the Kronos Quartet, in their album Sun Rings, which used sounds of the planets recorded by the Voyager mission on its journey to deep space. Stephen Taylor, in the album The Heart of the Sun. Robert Schroeder's album Galaxy Cygnus A used interstellar noise from the distant galaxy in the title. 